meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Well, we've had some beautiful weather recently, but unfortunately it's been pretty dry. Now, November did come in with above average rainfall, but as I mentioned, we're starting to get below average again here for the start of December and for the year still eight and a half inches below average. And I don't see rain in our forecast through early next week except for a stray shower or two. As far as temperatures, though, it did warm up today. We hit 76 degrees, turned out to be a beautiful afternoon after a chilly morning starting at 41, which was 10 degrees below average. And right now it is pleasant outside. We have temperatures in the 60s at the coast to the mid 70s inland, and uh, we are seeing that wind coming in lightly from the southeast, picking up a little in Corpus Christi to 16 miles an hour now, and that's helping to bring that moisture in from the Gulf, which is going to allow that fog to form late tonight. So if you're heading out early in the morning, you will want to watch for that, especially in more the coastal areas farther inland. You may not see too much problems with this, but fog tracker for tomorrow morning showing between five and seven is our better chance of seeing some dense fog. And then by eight o'clock, it's lifting and it's clear by the time we get into nine in the morning. Now, because of the wind directions tonight, they're going to be shifting back around. That's going to play with our fog a little bit. I think the coastline again is where we're going to have the better chance of that fog. This is nine o'clock tonight. Visibility is still good through midnight. You can see they're still over two miles. But as we get into three, four in the morning, that's when those visibilities start to drop off. And you can see some almost half mile visibilities from Robstown to Kingsville, but still pretty clear farther inland. And notice the clearing here in our inland areas. That's because of a wind shift to the northwest. But coastside, I don't think we're going to get that lucky. And we'll probably see that dense fog in the early morning tomorrow before the winds start to shift and we dry out a bit. So with that, tonight not as cool at the coastline. Temperatures tonight drop into the lower 50s, farther inland, lower 40s possible tonight. It'll still be quite cool with our clear skies. Tomorrow looks terrific. Gorgeous day. In fact, I think tomorrow is going to be a lot like today, but the wind will come in from the north and northeast tomorrow, shifting to the east southeast tomorrow night. So with that, we're looking at beautiful weather, lots of sunshine, temperatures still above average tomorrow, and again, very similar to today, reaching the upper 70s inland and at the coast in those lower 70s with a light north northeast wind. Now we're going to see that wind shifting around quite a bit the next few days. The reason why, first of all, our higher pressure that was over us yesterday is pulled to the east. Winds coming in now from the Gulf and that clockwise circulation around that. See this boundary right here? That is going to push through tonight and that shifts our winds back to the north before another cold front comes in Thursday night, shifting our winds again. And that makes a difference because that changes the moisture in the air and of course gives us clouds and fog. So with that, here's tonight, uh, as we get into the overnight hours, that little boundary uh, coming in toward the morning hours, our winds shift around to the north. We have lots of sunshine tomorrow and it's gonna be a beautiful day for your Wednesday. And then as we head into Thursday, the winds shift back to the south and we warm up. I'm thinking 80 degrees for Thursday with that south wind, but here comes our next front. This one bringing with it not much moisture, but it will bring some cooler weather in by Friday and Saturday and dropping our humidity again. So our ups and downs continue and we're mainly above average on temperatures despite that cold front, but a stronger front comes in Monday night and that'll cool us down a little bit more by next Tuesday. Here is a look at your seven day forecast. Then this is brought to you by AutoNation. AutoNation will purchase your car even if you don't purchase a vehicle from them. Shop now at the AutoNation lot near you. So the warmer weather continues all the way through Thursday. We warm back to 80 degrees. Nights come back up to near 60. In fact, uh, near 60 for Thursday night. And then we're cooler Friday and Saturday, a breezy north wind Friday, and that keeps our humidity down. Wind shift again, and there's that warm up by Monday with our next front coming in Monday night.